Hey Gold House, today is Tuesday, May 19th. Um, today is your final day to make edits to your compare contrast literary essay. So I will once again share this document that you see um, so that you can make sure that you have everything that you need in the intro in your two bodies along with your transition of ideas and in your conclusion. So um, today is an editing day. That means we are just cleaning up things. I will send you a document that looks like this. Um, so spell check. Um, a lot of you have red underlines in your document that indicates that you spelled something wrong or you need to add some kind of punctuation to correct it. Capitalization, um, punctuation, your spacing should be 1.5 and have no more than 14 font. And in order to make a paragraph, remember, press the tab key um, or press enter. That will give you a new paragraph. So I just want to show you um, Geo just sent me his rough draft. And you can see that Geo has a bunch of red marks. That means Geo needs to for sure go back and figure that out. Blue means a grammatical error. So it looks like he needs to use um, a different verb tense, overcame instead of overcome. But definitely look over your rough draft. Um, it looks like he needs to do some indenting. Um, he can change his spacing to 1.5. Looks like he's in 14 font. Um, but when you go through this, be really critical of your work. You want to make sure that um, your essay is ready to publish. This is the final essay. Congratulations for those of you who made it this far. It's been a tough road to hoe since um, it's been pretty much done on your own by watching my videos. So way to go. Um, I think that's all I need to show you today. Um, besides getting the essay um, cleaned up and reshare that with me, um, you also have your reading log and your journal entry for today. I'm noticing that most of you, when you give me your journal entry, you're giving me a one word response. Um, highlighted in red here, goal is to write one paragraph. So again, it's of course to continue practicing your writing skills, but I also like to hear, um, hear from you. So make sure you give me more than just one word. Um, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing your polished essays, share those with me. Um, and then we look forward to a short poetry unit. So we'll see you soon. Um, today, Google Meet at 9.20 and at 1.40. See you then.